We ask you, Father, to give to our people who bless us out of their past and their most their past week. And Lord, in your mercy, give us a government which will preserve the liberty and privileges of our neighbor. One for us to satisfy all. We pray you will bless our king. We pray that you will aid and sustain his recovery to health and strength and also the recovery of the, the princess of Wales and the princess of Wales. Be with all the members of the, of the royal high school. We pray that you will protect all those who serve in the armed forces and the police force. Be with us in our undertaking this evening. May our actions promote your glory. For we ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let me read some verses from God's Word from John chapter 17, reading the first six verses and then verse 12. We are reading here words of a prayer which Jesus offered to his Father a few hours before he was put to death. And this is God's word. When Jesus had spoken these words, he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify yourself with the Son may glorify you. Since you have given him authority over all flesh, to give eternal life to all who you have given him. This is eternal life. That they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I glorify you on earth, having accomplished the work that you gave me to do. And I, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had with you before the world existed. I have manifested your name to the people who you gave me out of the world. I, I was with them. I kept them in your name which you have given me. I have guarded them. And not one of them has been lost, except the son of destruction, that the scripture might be fulfilled. Amen. May God bless his word. One hundred and eight years ago today, Michael Mann, with him, Frederick and Patsy from Belfast, was serving as the 14th Battalion of the Royal Irish Fighter. Before even the offensive had begun, he was in a concentration trench, opening a box of grenades to be distributed to the troops. The box slipped down into the trench which was crowded with men, and two of the safety pins fell out. Private McFadzi instantly realized the danger to his colleagues, and with her own courage, threw himself on top of the grenade. He was killed in the ensuing explosion, but only one other man was injured. He knew well his danger. But without a moment's hesitation, he gave his life for his comrades. Knowing that he could only save his comrades by acting quickly and by sacrificing his own life, but Patsy did not hesitate. Jesus was praying those words that we read. The night before, he went to the cross. He came, you see, at the Father's command to deliver his people from the consequences of sin by taking his guilt upon himself and dying in our place on the cross. He could only save his people by sacrificing his own life. In his prayer that night, he was able to say, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that the Son may glorify you. You see, it was by his death in the place of his people 
that he would deliver them from sin and bring them into God's salvation, and thereby he would bring glory to God. Early on the next morning, the morning following the same day, I saw at the song. After taking part in the attack on the 1st of July, a man from which hill sprang around Robert Quinn, serving as the first battalion of the Royal Irish Federal Great Battle. Heard a rumor that his platoon commander, Sir Harry MacDonald, was lying wounded in no man's land. Quinn left his trench. An older heavy shell fire, mortar, and machine gun fire, which the pipes was actually trained upon him, he went out to search for that number. Quick went out seven times, and each time he brought back a wounded man, dragging the last of the waterproof sheets from within a few yards of the enemy barbed wire. After those seven attempts, which took the seven hours, he was so exhausted that his officers wouldn't let him go out again. Robert Quick rescued wounded men by doing something for them which they could not do for themselves. They were so disabled by their injuries that they could only lie where they had fallen. They couldn't get themselves back to the trenches. Quick brought them to safety. Now why he brought seven men to safety, and that was a magnificent achievement. He could not find the one man that he had sent out initially to look for. Jesus, in his prayer, says that he will not fail to find everyone who became prepared to see it. He will seek everyone, he will call everyone to receive and rest on him through faith alone as Savior. That's what he prayed. When I was with them, I kept them in your name, which you have given me. I have guarded them, and not one of them has been lost. <laughs> Except the son of destruction, that the scripture might be fulfilled. Brethren, friends, this evening, Jesus, who came into this world and gave his life to rescue us from sin, is calling you. He is calling you through his own spirit to come to him and to find all of God's salvation.
Thank you very much. 